So firstly we have to uh, re zero and then we put 40 gram. So this one is the 40 gram. So we have to wait until all the uh, chemical dissolve. Then we take out the stirrer. Put the solution into the volumetric flask. And then we top out the misty water until uh, level. And then we mix the solution until fully dissolved. And then this is uh, liquid nitrogen. This is very dangerous. Uh, so we have to be careful. We want to transfer uh, 8 ml of natrium hydroxide. Vortex. 
so before we centrifuge we have to uh, wait to get um, the wait and then we have to put all other uh, centrifuge with this water with the same weight so this is 20 and then we put this water so we have to put beaker to make sure this one can stand uh, we, we zero and then we have to wait together with the Mm. Okay. So the volume with beaker is zero. Volume together with solution is twenty. So around twenty. So we do the same for all centrifuge. So this is the centrifuge. We want to centrifuge. This is how we put. So here we transfer all the solutions into 15 uh, 15 ml centrifuge because uh, our uh, compartment this, this is the size for this instrument so we put all the uh, centrifuge tube into the here So this is our setting, 5,520 minutes and 4 degrees. This one is H-World temperature and then we clean it straight. So this is the uh, result after we centrifuge and then we will filter. So we collect the supernatant and then we will filter it using filter paper. Only take the the upper upper side. Please be careful. Make sure that the uh, residue is not mixed with the supernatant. So this is our supernatant. Current pH is 12. So we will mix with 0.5 molar acetic acid to reduce it until uh, pH 7. So we drop little by little. And then measure the pH. So this is the glucose standard. We have mixed uh, distilled water and stock solution accordingly. Uh, refer to the table. Refer to step 7. Pipe out, pipe out 0 0.5 to 3 ml of the extract. So we have selected to do uh, 0 0.5, 1 and also 1.5 volume uh, of the extract. So here we pipe up out 1 mil. One point five. So this is one mil, and then we change to five hundred. 
to get the 0.5 mil of the extract. So, 0 0.5 mil. And also 0 0.5 mil for the first tube. So, here we get 0 0.5, 0, 0 0.5, 1 mil and 1.5 mil. Later, we will add on, uh, we will equalize to 3 mil for all tubes. Here we add on distilled water to equalize to 3 ml. We have all total of 3 ml um, extract with distilled water. We will add on uh, 3 ml of DNS. So here we have glucose standard 1 until 6 tubes and or 3 uh, extract of banana. We will add on DNS reagent, uh, 3 ml for each tube. We set up the water bath and then we put all our glucose standard and also the banana sample extract for 5 minutes. So here all the tube that have been water bath until 5 minutes, it's already changed its color. And then we transfer and then we add on uh, one meal of crochet sauce. So we have to transfer to QVAC before we uh, to run UV UV spectrum. So here how to use the UV beef. First we have to set uh, nanometer web, our wavelength to 510. Enter. And then we have to put our sample. This is for blank without any uh, glucose. Make sure you wipe uh, the cuvette first before you put into the uh, compartment. First, we measure blank. So 
So this is uh, blank and our three sample extract of uh, banana from different concentration. So we write firstly we measure blank. So this is uh, if you want to check we click B for blank. And then one reading for concentration one cell two for concentration two and three for the concentration three concentration three. So this is UVVs uh, for glucose standard. We select uh, the test type for standard curve and then we click enter this is the test name date and the important is the wavelength so wavelength for glucose is a uh, red 510 nanometer so the graph we expect to be linear for standard and we have five standard the unit is 10 milligram per mil uh, auto 6 number of sample we have 3 here we can change to 3 and 2 and then we run standard so um, we have to put we have to key in all the concentration of each glucose for uh, test tube because test tube 1 we use as a blank so test tube 2 concentration is 0 0.2 enter 0 0.4 0 0.6 0 0.8 and 1 and then we measure standard here we have to put all the standard here we already put all the glucose and then we measure it, we put the end thing. 